Hello, my name is George Diego, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the left lateral decubitus for an, uh, an AP abdomen. So here we have the patient lying on his side, on his left side, with his knees tucked in uh, to stabilize the patient so that he doesn't move. Um, and we have the arms over the head so that the arms don't superimpose on our image. Um, here we have the patient lying on top of what appears to be a, a radiolucent pad to, uh, that serves to raise him up a bit um, in case uh, he's laying on any fabric or the mattress itself uh, appears on our image and blocks any anything that we're trying to look at. Back here we have the IR and the IR is in landscape. It's 14 by 17 inches and the SID that we would use uh, is um, 40 inches right here's the distance from the source to the IR um, uh, depending on which system we're using if we're using an analog or a digital system the KVP changes uh, well very little in an analog system uh, the range is between 70 to 80 KVP um, while in a digital system it's around 80 KVP but it can give or take uh, f uh, 5 so it could be between 75 to 85 uh, when it comes to the marker, um, for the marker, we'd put it above uh, on above the patient on the side opposite to the one that's laying down on the table. So since this is the left lateral, uh, the marker would be on top of the patient on the right side. Um, uh, the position that he's in right now is a recumbent position, lateral recumbent. And you can see that you have to make sure that there is no rotation so that in the image, the spine comes out straight and not curved. You would also use a grid uh, in between the patient and the image receptor so that uh, it reduces some of the fog uh, on the image. Uh, as for shielding, you would want to shield any radiosensitive uh, tissues that don't obscure um, the image that we're trying to see. So maybe the thyroid or something like that. For the CR, the position would be um, two inches above the iliac crest. And the reason for that is so that we can see the diaphragm uh, all the way at the top. And the anatomy that we're looking for here is the diaphragm. We're looking for the loops of the bowels and we're looking for um, the stomach. So here, uh, the purpose of this exam would be to check for any masses that have accumulated or the air fluid levels. Um, so that's about it. Thank you for your time.